Hi everybody, it's Logan, coming to you from Hidden Villa. And uh, one of my favorite things in the world are animals. And something I always wonder, and I was wondering if you could help me remember, what it is that animals need to survive. So what do animals need to survive? You probably said something like food to eat or water to drink or air to breathe, of course, and, but they also need a place to live. And at Hidden Villa, we actually have animals that we take care of every day. And we're here at a special time of day here at Hidden Villa. And it's time to take care of some of our animals during chore time. My friend Debbie here is going to help us do that. So Debbie, what animals are we taking care of right now? Uh, right now, we're about to take care of the goats. Let's go feed them. So Debbie, what is it that uh, the goats are eating right now? So the goats are eating a kind of hay called alfalfa. They always eat hay, they never eat meat? No, they do not eat meat. Oh, that's right, they're herbivores. They are. All right, so the goats are eating, but where do they stay at night? Where do they stay safe? When the sun goes down, they stay safe inside the barn in a place called their bedroom. We close the door for them. And uh, where do they get their water? They get their water from a little water bucket that's on the side of the barn, right there. Oh, I see there's a hose hooked up to that bucket. Why is that? It automatically refills every time the goats drink some water. Great. Thanks, Debbie. And uh, you might not know this, but goats help us survive. So what are you about to do that's going to help the farm and help people? We are going to milk a goat named Miriam. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, Debbie, what are you doing right now for Miriam? Right now, I'm about to clean off Miriam's teats. And that keeps her healthy? It helps keep her healthy and it helps keep our milk clean. Great. And then we start milking into the bucket. We squeeze the top of her teat, and it doesn't hurt her. She's used to babies doing this. And then I roll them. Squeeze and roll down. She's getting grain while we're milking her. And why does she get grain and the other goats don't? Because she's the only goat that we milk, so she needs extra nutrients to produce milk. And then Debbie, what do we do with the milk when, when you're done? When we're done with the milk, you can save it to drink, or you can make goat cheese out of it. Great. Thanks, Debbie. And thanks, Miriam. So now we're further down the farm, and there's more animals. And I'm here with my friend Sarah here. And uh, we're going to see these animals get taken care of by our farmers. So, Sarah, what animals are we taking care of right now? Uh, we have a small cow named Tilly, and we have three sheep. Great. I just gave her a little bit of grain, and now we got to get some grass for these guys. So we have a cow here, and then what are these? These are sheep. Oh, they're sheep. Yes. Come on, guys. All right, so the farmer, the animal husbandry manager, writes up here what the animals eat. Um, and so I know to give the sheep uh, one flake of grass, one flake of alfalfa, and I know to give Tilly a flake of alfalfa outside. So we get some grass for these guys and take it over here. And the... Alfalfa has seeds in it, so it's really tasty, and the grass is just just grass. So you'd say alfalfa is their favorite food? Uh, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> is this where they sleep at night, too? It is where they sleep at night. So Tilly sleeps inside, too? Yes. And they stay warm inside? They do. And safe? And safe from predators, yes. And there's water around here for them yeah, to drink, too? And Sarah, what are... What are these things right here? That's a great question. These are uh, nutrients and minerals that they don't get from grass. So this is like their, their vitamins? Yeah. Oh, It's cool. like a Flintstone. <laughs> and I think Tilly's, Tilly's favorite food is definitely the grain. She likes that a lot. Sarah, is it fun taking care of our animals? 
yeah, it's really fun. They're really cute. <laughs> Especially Tilly. Tilly, she'll make a mess. <laughs> uh, Sarah, how old is Tilly? Tilly just turned one. She's one years old and yeah. that big? Yeah. Wow. So that's how some of our farm animals here at Hidden Villa get taken care of, that our farmers have to feed them every day, make sure that they have water and a place to sleep, and also that our farm animals take care of us too. We saw uh, Miriam the goat give us milk, and so do our cows, and our sheep give us something to wear. So those are our farm animals, and you might have a, an animal at home that you, that you take care of too. Maybe it's some chickens, or maybe it's a pet, and you have to take care of them every day. And if you're going to have a pet sometime when you're older, you also have to take care of it. And these are animals that we take care of, but there are also animals at Hidden Villa that we don't take care of. Those are wild animals and they take care of themselves. They find their own water, they find where to drink. So come on out to Hidden Villa, you can see our wild animals, you can see our farm animals. I'm Logan, and that's what's good in the woods.